Hello everybody, it's obstetric and gynecology made easy. Today we are going to talk about povidone iodine concentrations and use. Povidone iodine is available in several concentrations, each with specific uses in medical and surgical settings. Here are the common concentrations and their typical applications. Povidone iodine 10%, available iodine 1%. Bovidone iodine 7.5% scrub solution, available iodine 0.75%. Bovidone iodine 5%, available iodine 0.5%. And bovidone iodine 1%, available iodine 0.1%. Usage of bovidone iodine 10%. It used as a preoperative skin antisepsis. This is the most common concentration used for skin preparation before surgeries, including cesarean section. It can also be used to clean wounds and minor cut to prevent infection. It's used on mucosal surfaces with caution, but the contact time should be shorter to avoid irritation. Bovidone iodine 7.5% scrub solution. Used for surgical hand scrubbing due to its effective antimicrobial action. And it can be used similarly to the 10% solution but is often preferred for use on wet skin or where scrubbing is necessary. Bovidone iodine 5%. Often used in ophthalmology to disinfect the eye area before procedures, like cataract. It's less irritation, irritating to the eyes than higher concentration. It can be used on mucosal surfaces like mouth, throat, and sometimes for vaginal antisepsis before gynecological procedures. Bovidone iodine 1% Used as antiseptic mouthwash or throat gargle to treat or prevent infections in the oral cavity and fangs. Occasionally used for wound irrigation, particularly for wounds in sensitive areas, because it's less irritating than higher concentrations. When applying 10% bovidone iodine for skin antisepsis before cesarean section, you should start at the incision site. Here's a summary of the process. Start at the incision site. Being applying the bovidone iodine solution directly over the area where the incision will be made. This central area is the most critical part to disinfect thoroughly. Move outward in circles. After covering the incision site, continue to apply the solution in concentric circles, gradually moving outward from the center. Don't retrace. Avoid moving the applicator back towards the incision site once you have moved outward. Allow drying time. Allow the bovidone iodine to air dry on the skin. This typically takes about two, three minutes. Don't blot or wipe the area to facilitate drying, as this can reduce the antiseptic efficacy. Avoid overuse on open wounds, as prolonged use on large open wounds should be avoided due to the risk of systemic absorption and potential toxicity. I hope this helps. Please don't forget to like and share.